This was a big effort. Uh, I wanted to just give you a little lead in on this. Uh, Grandpa Don found out that there were 54 poly students killed in World War II. And there was, had been a memorial, but it was missing. And uh, we had a plaque made and uh, presented to Cal Poly, me and the American Legion, and a lot of veterans groups in town. Of course, I'm a veteran, so that was all, this was all doubly significant to me. And uh, we knew there's Grandpa on the right, and the Admiral that came down to speak at the ceremony. And uh, I just wanted to give you a taste of uh, sort of the patriotism that runs the Morris family. Always, always on the country. It's turned into a big, big family. I felt honored that I had a part in So with that, I think we'll just let it play through. You get a feeling of just how big it was. If you ever get a chance, go down and see this plaque, these plaques. There were four of them. There's a Marine Honor Guard. You can see the shells flying in the air. ROTC was deeply involved in this, along with all of the veterans groups in town. In honor of our veterans, this dedication was made. sure it was going to be yesterday, but we're very pleased today. And to the committee who arranged the weather, thank you very much. <laughs> it's a privilege to represent President <coughs> Warren Baker and all of the students and faculty and staff here at Cal Poly in welcoming you and saying what's most important, thank you. On behalf of all of us at Cal Poly, we express our sincere appreciation on this Veterans Day to all men and women, not only those who have fallen in service to our country, but those who have served and those who are serving now. It's extremely important. We recognize it, and we can't say it often enough. Thank you. Now, recently I was called by um, uh, Betty Nisbo and said we're going to have this uh, ceremony to uh, put up the plaques to recognize the Cal Poly students who gave their lives in defense of the country. I said, oh, that's tremendous. Uh, what we're going to do is just, we're going to do it at the Plinth. <laughs> now, I'm an old Marine in the infantry. I had no idea what the hell a Plinth is. Uh, <laughs> uh, but I didn't tell anybody that I didn't know what a Plinth was. <laughs> I ran around and read about what a plinth was, and I figured we only had one on the whole campus, and that's it. So, uh, then uh, I found who the key people were, people like Don Morris, Robert E. Lee, commander of the Legion, and a whole committee of wonderful men and women. I'll not say thank you to each of them as individuals, but as a group. Thank you. I consider you the princes and princesses of the plinth. Thank you very much. For <laughs> that. That awesome. A new title. Is he fabulous? In honoring these veterans who gave their lives representing our campus, I think that uh, it's a privilege to be able to say on behalf of all of us here now that symbolically they mean so much to us. But our purpose today is not just to say thank you to them, but to thank you to all veterans, and more importantly, in my opinion, to recognize what they gave their lives and others have given so much time, effort, and energy to achieve, and that's to sustain American freedom. Veterans Day is not just a day to remember veterans, but to rededicate our lives to what they were attempting to support, defend, and most importantly, 
to encourage. It's now my privilege to recognize a few of the honored guests, and let me remind you <coughs> that each of you is important to us. Uh, and please hold your applause while I introduce a few of our special visitors today. We've already heard from Lieutenant Colonel uh, Pastor Daniel Whitler of the Mount Carmel, uh, Mount Carmel Lutheran Church here in San Luis Obispo. You've heard from Robert E. Lee, Commander of the American Legion, Post 66 of San Luis Obispo. You stand as an introduction. Uh, we will be uh, hearing from our special guest today, our keynote speaker, Admiral David R. Ellison, who is the superintendent of the Naval Postgraduate School in Monterey. And Admiral Ellison is here with his wife, Leslie Ellison. Colonel and Mrs. Kevin Rice. Colonel Rice is the commandant and commander of the Defense Language Institute in Monterey, California. In our second row here, we have Dr. and Mrs. Robert Kennedy. Many of you uh, know Dr. Kennedy. He's a very beloved former president of Cal Poly. Also with us are Colonel and Mrs. Hector Topetti. Colonel Topetti is the head of the Western Regional Reserve Officer Training Corps. He's stationed in Seaside, California. We also have Lieutenant Colonel Ronald Lamb, who is the department head of Cal Poly's ROTC program. We have Colonel Charles Campbell, who is the commandant of the 30th Medical Group at Vandenberg Air Force Base. In the third row, it's my pleasure to introduce Bill Bolt, who is the vice president for Uni university advancement here at Cal Poly. Also, is we have with us Dan Howard Green, 